And everybody should know that's how love goes. It's good for the soul. Oh, I got a long way to go, but it won't stop the pain. No, no. That's the kind of thing that keeps me coming. I can't believe it. I keep going over it, and it always comes out the same. What's that? It looks like the store's gonna make a $15,000 profit next quarter. $15,000? What? <laughs> Are you serious? Hmm? I've been on a mission to get more money flowing. The changes are finally paying off. Oh, my God. <laughs> Baby, I'm so proud of you. Mwah. Just doing what I gotta do. Well, whatever it is you're doing, it looks like it's working. The best thing is I can get the, the store out of the dark ages now. You know, I computerized cash registers, automated inventory tracking, a decent alarm system. I always knew you could do whatever you put your mind to. I'm glad you did. Sometimes I wasn't so sure. Look. Hey, babe. Now that the store is making all this money, You might be able to forgive me for buying the Mustang. Bird, if we're gonna be okay, you need not to mention that car to me again. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I won't mention it anymore, okay? Okay? What about if I mention that? Hey, Kenny. Hey. Big man. Hey, Damon. When are you taking me to another soccer game? Anytime you want to go. Cool. So, what's up, man? Not much. Can you, uh, spare five minutes? I thought my dad's cane was the last reminder of that car accident. Until I saw the way he looked at Damon today. Like he doesn't trust him. Doesn't want him around. So, what can I do for you? Well, I was delivering packages out this way. Saw your car. Decided to stop. <laughs> yeah, that's bullshit. Excuse me? No, I said that's bullshit. Unless National Overnight is run by some serious boneheads that would never let the same guy who delivers downtown deliver way out here to the industrial district. <laughs> I guess they wouldn't, would they? Oh, no, 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 they wouldn't. I just signed my first client. Mm. Young tennis player. A friend hooked me up. Oh, hey, well, congratulations, man. You know, Terry was telling me something about how hard you were working to get that started. 
Yep, finally got a break. Yeah. So how's she doing? Great, great. The whole family's great. Glad to hear that. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, I never got the chance to uh, tell you I'm sorry about that car accident. Well, you know, that's cool because I never really wanted to hear it. Yeah, it kind of drives me crazy, people apologizing for things they never have any control over. You know, like when somebody dies, everybody comes up to you and says, I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry for what? For your pain? I mean, those people may or may not be responsible for it, but um, they're sorry that you're suffering all the same. Uh, yeah, you know, I, I can dig it. I can dig it. I guess I, I've always been a practical guy, you know. Really practical guy. <laughs> I just usually don't think that way. Hey. Well, I guess I'd better be going back downtown. Yeah. All right. All right well, you know, take care, brother. Thanks. Yeah. Hey, tell Max I said hi, all right? All right, I'll do that. I'll call you about soccer. Cool. Hey, maybe Aunt Terry will go with us. Why don't you ask her? All right. Maybe that conversation didn't go too bad after all. My dad's shoulders aren't all stiff the way they were before. Huh? All right, so Jay is in the crib. I gave you the medicine. Is that everything? What are you all giddy about? Nothing. Come on. <laughs> Lem finally forgave me for buying that car. And forgave me. And forgave me and forgave me again. Maybe he needs to forgive you more often. Seriously, Maxine, I was beginning to think he was never going to get over this thing. Mm. Now he's all hyped about buying this new equipment for the store. What new equipment? Alarm systems, cash register, a whole bunch of stuff. He could tell you better than I could. Since when do we have the money to buy new equipment? Since we have a $15,000 profit. <laughs> and Lem was tripping about the car. Can you believe that? Wait a minute, wait a minute. We who have $15,000? Last time I checked, our store was struggling to get by. Well, check again. My baby is making it happen over there. I gotta go. I'll see you at like 6, okay? Okay, with Bert. Morning, Kenny. Hey, Big Bird. Hey, baby, you know what? I should be home. Bit earlier tonight. <laughs> oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Kenny, did you know that J and H made a fifteen thousand dollar profit? Oh, really? Yes. Huh. Now I know why Bird and Lim were able to afford that car. <laughs> you think they used some of the store's profits to buy that car? Oh, no, Max. I, I was joking. Okay. Yeah, and I'm happy for Lim. You should be too. I am, Kenny. But he's already spending our money. Got it all planned out. Bird couldn't even remember everything he was buying. Well, it makes sense. You got to reinvest. That's how you grow. Don't you think he should have told us about that money, Kenny? Well, what I think is that you should continue to support your brother-in-law. Like you always have, baby. I plan to. I just want to be kept in the loop. Yeah, well, uh, Ahmad! Why don't you tell him that, honey? You know, I'm sure he'll put it all down on paper for you. Yeah. Look, boy, are you ready? He, he's not going with you, remember? Yeah, today's career day. I'm going to work with my Aunt Terry. Right, that's right, that's right. Well, have fun and don't come back until you're a lawyer. All right, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. <laughs> oh, hey. Good, that, that's gross. Well, I guess we're just going to have to be gross then, huh? <laughs> All right, y'all. Bye. Bye, sweetheart. <laughs> Of course he should have told us. Lim knows he doesn't own the store. Then why aren't you more upset about it? Because you've invited me over for this cup of coffee, and I'm trying to enjoy this cup of coffee. I'm not going to let Lim or J&H or anybody else rile me up first thing in the morning. Oh, so once again, I'm overreacting? What's Bird say? Nothing. She's on a limb high, all giddy and everything, because he finally forgave her for buying that new car. I see. Well, I told him a while ago I was going to have the books audited. I guess it's time that I did so. He shouldn't be making major decisions without consulting us first. Exactly. That's all I'm saying. You want breakfast? Mm-mm. This little news has made me lose my appetite. Nothing like family drama first thing in the morning. Where's my nephew? I gotta go to work. Mm -hmm. Kiss. Bye. Amal! 